What's up fellow music video creators, I'm Tyler Casey and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to make better music videos. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to do some stuff just like this. I'm going to be talking about adding more depth to your music videos and creating a lot more movement with your lighting. Before we get into that, just make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoy this video. And after this video, maybe go check out my Instagram at Tyler Casey Prod. When you do lighting and music video, one thing I've noticed that can add a lot to a shot is adding a little bit of movement, whether it's in the foreground or in the background. You can create all types of movement within these shots. One way I've created movement is you have a Fresnel light on a stand and you put on some gloves and you just wiggle the light a little bit. This is one of my favorite tricks. I've seen it in a lot of music videos, or you can move the whole light as a whole and you can just swing it around. Be careful because these lights are fragile, but definitely you can create some really cool shots. And I'm not saying if you wiggle your lights around in a music video, it's gonna look awesome. You definitely have to do it for a reason. Uh, some reasons I could think of, let's say maybe uh, in the scene, you want it to feel like the police are there. So you have a red and blue light and you start swinging those around or maybe it's a really intense part of the song and you want the lights to go crazy. Those are times where I can think of where it's important to use lights. Another thing you can use is either a dimmer board or you could just flick the lights on and off. Dimmer boards, you can dim the lights and you can flick them however you want. They have all sorts of tools for this, but that can get expensive. So the next best thing is having your friend Joe come over and start flicking the light. This can add a lot of depth and Joe just has to be a good light flicker. It's hard to come along good light flickers these days, but we had a pretty cool light flicker on this shoot. We had, I think three people flicking lights on this shoot and it came out pretty cool. This is like one of my favorite shots of the whole music video. I'm gonna link that music video below if you guys wanna check that out. I shot that one with K True and you just kind of want to do it to the music because the more in depth you can get with it, the better your shot's gonna look. So that's my tip for today is add a little bit of movement to your lighting. Make sure to comment below and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.